afternoon. Today is Friday, November 11th. I'm Doak Walker Jr. And I'm Corey Lang with this week's TCTV News Update. This week's show features ath athletics here at Teal College with highlights from this fall and a look ahead to winter and spring sports. A new sport has arrived here at, at Teal College, women's bowling. The team has recently joined the AMCC and the season is just underway. Their current record is 0-3, but that isn't going to get these ladies down. With four more, more matches to go this fall and the Red Flash Open set to take place in January at St. Vincent University in Crescent, I'm sure these ladies are going to make a comeback. The next match is December 18th in Madai College in Buffalo, New York. Coach Dan McMillan has this to say about them. Women's bowling is a fairly new sport to Teal College. It's only two years old now, right? Correct. Um, is there anything you'd like to tell us about the sport or we should know about the sport? It's or? actually uh, part of the up and coming sport in NCAA sports. Uh, the women's side of it's kind of new to everybody. Everybody always th had the men's bowling team, but the women's bowling team has kind of taken off. Uh, it's helping with a lot of people with the Title IX requirements to get more women athletes on campus. Uh, but it really is, I mean, it's exciting. If you ever go to a tournament or if you ever go to the, uh, uh, the dual meets, it's, there's a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of cheering. It's not your quiet birthday party type bowling. Uh, and there is some pressure involved in it, and I think that's why. Uh, I mean, you can bowl all day and put yourself in a position where you need nine pins to win it all. Uh, so, you know, the, the, the better bowlers and the better teams go through that. And there is a, a mental side to bowling and everything. So it's, it's been a good experience for the girls and for the coaches. So. In the NCAA, right? Uh, we were. This is our second year in the NCAA. It's our first year in the Allegheny Mountain Conference. Right. Um. So, do you see uh, more growth for the team coming up? So, like oh, yeah, more teams. Absolutely. And... Uh, there's eight girls on the team right now. Uh, most of the girls, most of the team, women's team is carried to be doing 10 and 12 bowlers. So, and we're trying to get to that level. You bowl five, you count five scores, but to get through the tournaments and everything, you need 10 to 12 bowlers because it is an all-day event. So. One of the other things about uh, bowling is Division One, Two, and Three all bowl together. There's no classification, so it makes it a little tougher on the Division Three teams. Um, so, what are your goals for this season then for the team? To establish ourselves in the conference. Uh, this is our first year. We've had an opportunity to be all conference as a team, all conference as uh, individuals, participate in senior days. Uh, you know, all types of most strikes, most spares, all those things that go along with being in a conference. So, we want to get a conference standing that you know that we that we work for, that we you know respected. Uh, so, I think that's our biggest goal. Up till now, we've won all dole matches and tournaments, and it's kind of like you go there, you're excited, but you leave it there. Now we're in a continuation process throughout the season because it's all uh, all accounted for or accumulated throughout the season. Both the men's and women's cross country fe featured a new coach in. Will Mills, who has a high expectations for the teams. Senior summer, Wark led the women's team with an 11th place finish at the Grove City Invitational in September. Senior John Clark placed 35th for the men. The Teal Tomcats sent 10 runners to the Pack Cross Country Championships, with Wark leading the Tomcats and finishing 14th, and John Clark led the men's team in, eighth, in the 8,000 meter run, finishing 29th. Teal will compete in the NCAA Division III Mid-East Regional Championships this weekend. Teal sent nine golfers to the PAC Championships this October. After the conclusion of the first day of matches, the Tomcats landed in sixth place. The team was to remain in this, in this position after the second round and final round. J junior Jason Thorpe led the Tomcats, shooting a 79 to finish tied for 16th place. Coach McMillan says, they have a lot to work on to get ready for the spring season. He shared some more thoughts about the golf team and its development. With sending nine golfers, five men and four women to the PAC championships, overall, how do you think the team did this year? Well, uh, we, we lost a lot last year on the men's side of things. We lost two starters who had played one, the fall four years. So we took the fall as kind of a rebuilding program for them. But I think they did really well. Uh, Jason Thorpe, Will Milady, Ken Letta. Uh, we picked up with Jonathan Loomis as a senior, gave us some leadership there. And then Cody Hefner, a freshman, and Colton McCray, a sophomore, come in and helped us out on the men's side. Uh, but I think they're ready for spring. That's one thing about golf. We play fall and spring, so the fall is kind of your, your uh, non-traditional season, they call it. So 
Uh, I think we're ready to go on that end. They gained the experience they needed. On the women's end, kind of the same. Uh, we lacked some experience there. We picked it up in the fall. But uh, Alyssa Mondell did a great job. Um, she's in position again to be all conference. And the other three are following her right along. So it's very good. Uh, is there anything you saw this, fa this fall season that you want the team to work on to be better in the spring season? Definitely the short game. Uh, you know, in golf, the the swing, everybody gets all, you know, excited about that, and they want to hit the ball far, and they work on it in the dome. But your scoring comes from your short game. That's putting and chipping, and that's that's the end we got to work on. Uh, you know, I think we're right there as far as striking the ball and our range work and everything, but we got to put more into our short game on both sides, the men's and the women's side. Now, what is your main goal as the golf coach? You know, what do you want to achieve for the golf team? Bottom line, uh, it's Division Three sports. When I tell every recruit that comes here, the best thing we can do for you is get you a job. Uh, second thing is, uh, you know, they got to get good grades. They got to be do good in the classroom, and obviously they'll get a good job if that happens. Thirdly, the athletics, the golf, and slides in, in behind all that. So, it's a total overall experience. Uh, yeah, yes, it's great to, to come here and play golf. We want you to do good. We want you to be all conference. We want you to be an All-American, but we also want you to get a job. So I think uh, the two together make a complete student athlete. Last December, Till welcomed Dan Bloom as the new head coach of the football team. With a record of 2-8 and eight last year under Kurt, Coach Kurt Reiser, the team was surely looking to improve. The Tomcats currently sit at 3-6. and six. This Saturday, November 12th, they head to Grove City to compete for the Mercer County Cup. The Tomcats defeated the Wolverines last year. Will the coveted trophy stay in Greenville for another year? As the season is coming to an end, how would you describe your first year as head coach? Uh, it's had its ups and downs. I'd say it's successful as a whole. I think we're, we're coming along as a football program. Um, we're getting better each week, which is what we talk to our guys kind of each week. Get better each play, get better each day, get better each week, and I think we've successfully done that. So I'd say it's been a pr pretty successful season, even though our record may not dictate that necessarily. All right, so pretty sure you heard all the noise about the Mercer County Cup and how much it means. So how are you preparing for that this week? You know, we're trying to take it game by, you know, it's another game, but, you know, it is a big game. It's a rivalry game. It's a game that has implications in recruiting. Um, you know, we know they're going to come out ready, so it's, I think it's going to be a, a hyped game, of, you know, a big game where kind of anything can happen, and um, we're just preaching to our guys to try to be prepared and be ready for anything and do the best job we can preparing them. All right, and so after you got the first year under your belt, how do you, where are your goals for the second season? How do you kind of prepare? Uh, you know, we want to, I think we've kind of started to instill the culture that we're looking to have with our program. Um, so we're looking to have a, a good off season with our weight training program and our guys getting ready. Um, and then next year, hopefully, we're coming in. We're, you know, we're more experienced, we're more developed, um, and we can kind of take it and win a few more games because we're going to have guys that have had experience winning, been in our system, and we can kind of continue to bring things along. All right, I'm Robert Thompson here with Coach Bloom at Alumni Stadium. Clearly, this is a new era of football at Teal. The goal for Bloom is to change the culture and keep improving. In other news, the women's tennis team finished the season 2-10 an improvement from their 1 and 11 finish in 2015. The girls defeated Waynesburg 7 to 2 early in the season, and they went on to defeat Bethany 9 to 0 in October. They finished 7th out of 9 teams in the PAC championships. Later that month, the team fe featured strong play from three seniors: Sarah Matzak, Lauren Wolf, and Mercedes Quarles. Men's tennis kicks off their season this spring. They finished 2-8 in 2017 in the spring season. With the lacrosse season right around the corner, coaches and players are busy preparing for their upcoming seasons. The men's team finished the 25th season 10-4 with a young team of talented players. They are looking to improve their record this year. Head coach Jeff Arnson joined us in the studio to talk about what he foresees to be a tough but rewarding season. The lacrosse team finished 10-4 and four last season. Do you foresee any improvements for this year? I do. Um, you know, we brought a big freshman class in. I think we ended up with about 19 overall uh, and, and brought back some very talented uh, upperclassmen. So we're still relatively young. Only have one um, natural senior this year. Um, you know, 40-point player for us last year, so hopefully we'll see some improvement with him. Um, you know, I think our uh, schedule as a whole uh, is pretty similar. You know, it's a little bit tougher than I think it was last year, so it'll be a little more challenging. But um, I think with the talent of freshmen we brought in, you know, realistically, I think we should have, 
you know, just as good of a year. If not, I think realistically we have the potential of doing it better. Um, uh, who do you think is going to be your toughest opponent this season? Uh, I, I would say Transylvania again, just like last season. Um, you know, winning the conference last year. You know, then I know they didn't really graduate um, too many big players for them. Uh, I mean, they'll be returning of um, first team all conference goalie and um, a few other players that did really well for them last year. And uh, um, you know, I, I know they do a great job recruiting. You know, so realistically, I, I would say that they're going to be definitely one of the best teams in the conference again this year. I think as a schedule on, as a whole, you know, I think they're definitely one of the, the best teams on our schedule as well. Um, the team recently held a prospecting camp. What was all involved in that, and what was the turnout? Um, it was a pretty solid turnout. I mean, it wasn't the best weather, un unfortunately. <laughs> um, surprisingly for the weather this fall, uh, it was definitely one of the worst days we've had at this point. But uh, you know, it's basically just um, you know underclassmen, you know, seniors, juniors, and, and sophomores come on campus, get the opportunity to spend some time with the team, the coaching staff, and we basically run them through a college practice, um, and then kind of get them up and down the field with some scrimmaging and uh, some one-on-one -on -one attention from our, us coaches and a little bit of the upperclassmen kind of getting involved as well. Uh, but it really just kind of gives them an opportunity to get some insight, you know, on our, on our lacrosse, on lacrosse program at Teal and, um, you know, the school itself. And then finally, what are you most excited about for this upcoming season? Um, you know, this is the first year we'll have an automatic bid for the NCAA tournament. So it's a really big year for us. I know it's something that, you know, we've been working for for the last seven years. And, and you know, that was the whole reason of us joining the ORLC was for this opportunity. And, um, you know, that being our first year, it's a big year in the sense that, you know, not only do we win a conference championship, we'll have the, you know, opportunity to move on to the NCAA tournament, um, which will obviously be a challenge in itself. But, uh, you know, it's definitely a, a big year for us. And, um, you know, I know it's something that, you know, all us coaches in the, in the conference are really looking forward to, um, you know, being able to get that opportunity consistently for the next, you know, four years. The women's team finished with 11 wins last spring. They welcomed Tim Prisky as their new head coach this season. The ladies are also working hard to pull off another winning season. Lacrosse season officially kicks off in February. The women's volleyball team, coached by Kelly Barzak, completed their, se their season at the end of October with an overall record of 12-19. and 19. This came as a major improvement from last year where the Tomcats won just three games. A mix of youth and experience fulfilled fueled the Tomcats turnaround season. Sophomore Peyton Allen led the charge for the Tomcats this season with 275 kills. Senior Jenny Shelley led, the, in, led an assist with 691. Junior Megan Sweeney recorded 569 digs and was recently named PAC Honorable Mention Selection. Overall, the team was much more competitive than previous seasons. Basketball is under, underway at Teal. The Lady Tomcats, coached by Bob Kloon, prepare for another basketball season. Kloon is entering his fifth season as a women's head coach. Last year, the Lady Tomcats finished 4-21 last season. With experience from the upperclassmen, they plan to turn things around this season. The Lady Tomcats are looking for an early, early win against Herm, Herm, Hiram Torrios at the season opener next Tuesday, November 15. The game is at home and begins at 5.30. The men's basketball team had plenty of confidence coming into this season, despite having no current seniors this year, but they do have five returning juniors, including Tyree Burton and Josh Lumbage. They begin their season uh, next Tuesday, November 15th at Penn State Barron in Erie. Hello, I'm Jake Gregor, and I'm the student coach for the men's basketball team here at Teal. I believe we're doing pretty well this season, considering how young we are. All the older guys that have been here have stepped up and are starting to help out the younger kids and coaching them along. Um, we're working hard, definitely working hard, and uh, come out and support. Men's volleyball team, coached by Adam Rose, will be looking to improve on an 11-14 and 14 season last winter. The Tomcats boast a group of experienced underclassmen that includes six seniors. Senior Cody Patterson tallied 193 kills last season. His average of 3.36 3 kills per set is the third best in Tomcat history. Senior Zach Romback will also be a key player for the Tomcats after finishing last season with 539 assists and 159 digs. Ramba led the team 
in both categories last season. The wrestling team ended their season strong last year with a 9-10 to record, and they, they are projected to win their hard straight PAC title this year. Head coach Craig Thur Thurber spoke with us about what he expects as their season kicks off. Coach Thurber, your Tomcats were selected number one in the PAC preseason wrestling poll and also <clears throat> earned six of nine first place votes. How does it feel to receive this honor? Um, it feels good. I mean, we have a, we have a good group of kids coming back. We have some uh, good uh, leadership, a lot of good freshmen coming in. So, I mean, it feels, feels good to receive the honor. I know the uh, W&J and Waynesburg have good teams, and it's a long way. And, and Thomas Moore with their uh, new coach, I know they had a, a lot of freshmen come in, so we're expecting them to be – they're solid in all their other sports. We're expecting them to be, you know, uh, good as well. So if we can stay healthy, you know, I think we can, you know, have a nice season and hopefully win the PAC again. It's always one of our – it's always one of our goals throughout the year. So I think if, um, you know, like I said, with the leadership that we have and you know some younger kids, you know, and, and we can stay healthy, we'll have a we'll have a solid season. And you know, it's nice to have people, <laughs> you know, vote for you. I think, you know, but it's it's one of those things where we just have to keep showing up every day, working hard, and you know, see see how things end up. I'm Dope Walker, and thanks very much for watching this week's TCTV Sports Update. Nearly all of the video and other images presented during, uh, during the today's newscast were provided by the Sports Information Department here on campus. They do a fantastic job covering our student athletes throughout the entire year. On behalf of the entire TCTV crew, we'd like to especially thank the Director of Sports Information, Ed Topoleski, and Assistant Director, Cyril Parham. I'm Corey Lang, reminding you to visit our YouTube channel, TLTC TV, to view this newscast and other student productions.